I'm going to try to do a microwave arc center. Uh, this piece here didn't come out the greatest, um, but this is the pre-center. Um, the part itself was great, but the problem is that the temperatures uh, were so high that they sort of uh, fused fused the ballast, and it's uh, very difficult to get this out. I've let's see. This is. Um, This is the bottom. I, I kept it just for reference, but as you can see, it's sort of vitrified down around the uh, the rocky bits. It's no joke. I mean, it's very, very, very strong. Not really sure what the best uh, course of action is for that uh, because it makes these pre-centered parts rather difficult to remove. Uh, the, the point being that these pre-centered are just strong enough to hold shape and uh, when the ballast is so strong that I can't remove the part it makes it challenging to, to perform the next step. Uh, but the finish does look pretty good. Um, this was a two hour center, um, so if you can imagine this uh, being completely whole, um, that's what it looked like prior to trying to excavate this, uh, this component. So I'm going to go ahead and try to arc center and see if we get a better finish than this and uh, better improved uh, strength properties. So let's see. All right, well, initial uh, observations. It feels a little, uh, a little better than prior. Um, we were only doing a six minute microwave center. Let me see if I can sand this up a little bit and see if it polishes better than the uh, previous test, which crumbled pretty easily just to see. Let me show you. I can snap that pretty easily. Um, but there was a section here. Let me see if I can get this in focus. Uh, this section here of this test, uh, this was a pre-center only it it's steel and it it sort of bends uh, when I try to it's so th this itself is very strong but that's only one ring out of the uh, test test ring and it's as you can see it's pretty shiny so let's see if the pre center plus microwave arc did any better with the polishing Oh yeah, I'd say this is a pretty noticeable improvement. Um, the whole piece that's re remaining here is pretty strong, and it uh, I used a steel uh, a file here. Just hear that sound. That 
that is steel. So um, pretty exciting about that. Um, it's just the pre-center stage that really boogered this thing up. Um, otherwise, I think we would have had a pretty cool, pretty cool result if I could have gotten some of this this um, densified ballast out of here. Um, I'm thinking that I might give uh, plaster a shot uh, as a um, as a ballast uh, decomposes um, at a at a pretty low temperature, and hopefully it shouldn't. Uh, form any sort of crystalline structure or insatite or anything like that uh, like some of the other ballasts I've tried so uh, I'm gonna give that a shot the alumina does seem to work pretty well during the arc center um, it's just the pre center that seems to be an issue yeah just look at that that's cool oh yeah I like that sound that's good. Oh. Look at that. Well, I have plenty of other test parts and uh, a good path forward. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to sort out the ballast issue. Give uh, microwave arc centering uh, another seat at the table and uh, pair that with my previous cycle and hopefully we should end up with some pretty good results a uh, full com uh, full piece next time and uh, i will throw some uh, maybe test uh, test cubes and then maybe a functional part once i get uh, once i get this nailed down a little bit better so anyway thanks for tuning in sorry for the <laughs> ad hoc uh ad hoc talking here i'm just kind of Making it up as I go. Anyway, catch you next time.